In this video, we'll walk through and show what it looks like for an agent to complete a new client's application and enrollment on Health Sherpa. Please take this video at your own pace and we'll comment on specific parts of the application that deserve some attention. The process will begin with a search of the marketplace for an existing application. If your client has not enrolled via the marketplace in the past, no records will be found similar to this demo applicant and you'll proceed to create a new application. You'll want to walk through the information on this privacy statement page with your client and check off these agreements. Because this is a demo, I'm skipping the social security number. When you're working with a client, you'll need to include this information if your client has one. For the home address, please bear in mind that some zip codes apply to multiple counties. So make sure to confirm you have the right one down on the application when working with a client. On this contact details page, we do recommend you include an email address for your client, but you can leave it blank in the event that your client does not have one. Please bear in mind that if this field is empty, your client will still receive mail from the marketplace and they won't be able to use self-service features through Health Sherpa like uploading their own documents. It's also worth noting that the contact information you provide in this section is for application purposes only. Health Sherpa will not contact your clients. In this Who's Applying section, mark Yes for the second question to see subsidies your client is eligible for. Also, add your applicant's spouse and tax dependents on this page if they have any. If they don't need health coverage, you'll just unclick the checkbox after adding their information. For this example, I'm going to add a spouse who needs coverage and make sure to save their information before proceeding. The following questions about tax information determine your client's eligibility for and amount of subsidy. If your client plans to use a premium tax credit to lower their monthly insurance payments, they'll need to file a federal income tax return for the year of coverage and answer yes to this question. In most cases, if your client has a spouse like this example, they'll need to file taxes jointly to get subsidies. The Health Sherpa application is then going to ask questions about dependents even if they don't need coverage to make sure the application reflects the full number of household members. All right, so now we're in the applicant section. Again, we're skipping the social security number in this video because it's a demo, but you'll want to fill in this information if your client has one. Now, let's talk about some of the questions below. The US citizen and currently incarcerated questions relate to eligibility for a marketplace plan. If your client is an American Indian or Alaska native, mark this radio button as yes to make sure they're receiving all the benefits and protections they're eligible for through the marketplace. These final two questions ask about the applicant's race and ethnicity. These questions help track diversity and inclusion efforts and do not impact the applicant's eligibility in any way. It is required to ask these questions, but clients do not have to answer them if they don't want to. Now on to income information. When filling out this section, 
input the projected income for the client for the year of coverage. So if you're enrolling a client during open enrollment, put in an estimate for what the client will make in the upcoming year. For Trudy, we're inputting some income and deductible information. When filling out this section, make sure you click that save button prior to proceeding so it sticks. This is the final stretch of the application where you can report other information that may increase your client's subsidies. These questions around existing coverage at the top are very important. You'll want to answer no to this question so long as the client will not have other coverage when the marketplace plan starts. In other words, if they're currently enrolled in a plan, but it'll end before their marketplace coverage starts, you're going to answer no to this question. You'll also notice some HRA and ICRA questions below. We're going to skip these in this demo, but please check out our walkthrough of an ICRA application after this video if you're interested in learning more. Because this demo is happening during SEP, I'm inputting a qualifying life event for these applicants. This zip code is an example of a place where you'll need to confirm the county. And that wraps up the application. If the client's ready to proceed, take a moment to review all the application answers. If something doesn't look right, hit the edit button for that section and you'll be taken right to the place where you need to fix the information. Everything looks good in this case, so let's continue and submit this app. So long as you have permission from the client, you can sign on their behalf as I am in this demo here. Once that's signed, you'll be submitting the application to the marketplace for eligibility results. You'll notice the button to enroll in coverage is grayed out. Once you view that eligibility letter, you'll be able to move on. So now that we've completed the application, we need to enroll the applicant in a plan. If the entire household wants the same plan, you can click that big blue button. In this video, we'll walk through enrolling these two applicants into different plans. So I'm gonna quickly choose some plans for both of these applicants. For a more in-depth review of this shopping process, check out our quoting video after this one. Before we move on and enroll them, let's make a quick note about commissions on split policies. Only the plan chosen by the primary applicant is going to be looked at for commissions. Let's continue to the confirmation page. All right, they're enrolled. You'll notice on this confirmation page, there are some next steps for these applicants. 
Don't sweat writing them down. Your Health Sherpa account will make all of this accessible through your dashboard, as you can see when we click this button. So here are all their follow-ups, their application details that you can update, their plan information, their enrollment history and eligibility letter, and their marketplace notices. You can even write notes to yourself or your team if your agency is using the Health Sherpa shared book setup. And that's a wrap on the Health Sherpa application and enrollment process. If you don't have a Health Sherpa agent account, you can create one today at healthsherpa.com/agents.